So this would be the right ventricle. So what I did was I took, went from the pulmonary artery, cut open the front of the right ventricle here. This would be the pulmonary artery here, and one of these would be a semilunar valve flap, a little pocket. Okay. One of those, the, the, yeah. Now, the, the, the sheep's got this bar that goes across. We don't have that. This is a bar that, I don't know, it, it's there to regulate the, so the ventricle doesn't overfill. I don't know why it would, but that's what it's for. So it's kind of like a bungee cord, you know, so it doesn't go all too big. Oh my God. That's what mm. that is. We don't have that, though. Mm -hmm. So that's basically what you can see from that side. If you curl up underneath here, you might be able to pick up a little bit of the tricuspid valve. Oh, yeah. But basically, when I want to take a look at an AV valve, I'll go over to the other side where it's bigger and opened up, and you get the same fundamental construction on the other side as you do on this side, except mm -hmm. it's bigger and it's easier to see. So I'm not interested in the tricuspid valve. Okay. I'm just interested. Now, if you flip it over to the other side, then what I've done here is I've cut through the, the uh, left atrium down and cut the front wall of the la left ventricle. So you can see the left ventricle thickness is a lot larger than the right ventricle. There's flaps of the bicuspid valve that you can see fairly well. Chordae tendini. And then at the end of the chordae tendini would be a papillary muscle. So that thing there is a papillary muscle. Easy to find if it's at the end. If the chordae tendini is attached, it's a papillary muscle. And those are the flaps. And because you're on that side, it has to be the bicuspid or uh, left atrioventricular valve, left AV valve. If you go above that level, then you would have to be into the atrium. Below this level, then that's the margin there between the atrium and the ventricle. Now, if you look at the, the three things that you need to look at but from a front view like this, if you hold it like this, the first, the one, the vessel that's closest to you is the pulmonary artery, which we've cut. The next one would be portions of the aorta or branches of the aorta, or the, these things. And then the third one would be the superior vena cava, which is this thing here. Oh, that's all and what was the second? That would be the, yeah, the right oracle or part of the right atrium. Mm. Now the superior vena cava, I'd have to, you'd have to poke this. Is that this. the superior and this is the inferior? If it goes through. Is it going to go through? Yeah, that would be inferior. Superior, inferior. Okay. And in a test, it would be like that. There'd be a probe stuck through it. Okay. So it would show... Going down. Where we're going, yeah, and it wouldn't be just a random hole there. <laughs> you know. But you look at it from the front, you're looking at the three things, pulmonary artery, aorta, or twigs coming off the aorta, superior vena cava, or inferior vena cava, depending when you're on the top and bottom. Okay. Okay. Okay? okay. And that's my probe. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay.